Hey everybody, I uh, got some chicken legs and some sweet potatoes cooking up here on the grill. Go back here and show you the progress on the Airstream. They'll be okay for a minute. Come back here, start to pop up. Tell you about that in a minute. Okay. Got some brake fluid on this side over here first thing this morning and if you're going to try the brake fluid temperature is definitely um a factor that's the reason why it hadn't been coming off on this side over here because it's always been in the afternoon when i've been putting it on here and this side gets no sun after about 11 o'clock so i put it on here just as the sun was coming up this morning, checked on it at about seven o'clock. It was already starting to bubble up in spots. So I knew it was gonna help a lot, it being in the sun. Still stubborn spots, or I guess it's just thicker than other, where it ran down, I guess, where they were painting up top or something, or the window seals or something first, and then they painted over that. So it's just twice as thick in them areas, I guess. But, you remember from the other videos, none of this paint had to come off. We're down here, this corner here. This is really the only area, well this and I'll show you on the other side one part that I don't think I'll be able to get out. Um, this right in here, I think I'm going to have to live with because this one panel right here, is like 600 bucks for that yeah it's stupid what it costs to get these panels but this one here if i can just get this gauge aluminum all i need is a straight piece this size rivet it bend it around rivet it because i mean it's just this one bend it's not multiple bends like this and like this and I mentioned it in the other video. Anybody who knows anything about these decals, um, is there anybody still making these? What do they mean? Is it an Airstream decal? I have seen it in other pictures, but I have Googled it and cannot find a reference to these anywhere. Um, please let me know if you know anything about them and if anybody's reproducing them. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much all off around here. Still got the stubborn stuff over here. This is layer upon layer upon layer here. Um, pretty much all came off the door. This is the other part I'm worried about here. That is not a seam. I thought that, sorry. I thought this was an actual seam to start off with. It is not. It is where somebody drug it down something that almost cut all the way through it. I mean, that's pretty deep gash in it, but it doesn't go all the way through. I might be able to work that out. We'll see, but it's ugly as shit. I know that. But that would be basically that full panel, and that would cost me a ton. But yeah, got a lot more off. And what I was going to tell you about the pop-up. This was the project before the Airstream. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get the Airstream and ended up getting it. Um, I gotta replace this piece of wood behind here. It, it's gone. There's nothing there anymore for the um, arms that raise it up to even bolt to. Uh, I got the pole over there on the other side holding up. These are just up against the top of the roof. It should be much higher than this. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get me um, two like 10 foot uh one by tens to go in there and not plywood like it was from the factory and uh something that'll last and i'll probably put sealer and all that on it too and paint the hell out of it before i put it in there because it will be getting exposed to some weather and get that to where that'll go all the way up and then we'll be able to get all these zipped up and everything um there's only a few little minor problems in this canopy. Other than that, the canopy is fine on this thing. I mean, it would be perfectly fine for me for camping. Um, I've already replaced all the cables on it. 
and put an electric winch on it instead of the hand winch like it was on it before. So that'll make that a little easier going up and down with it. I gotta put the cover back on that, but it's fine right now because it's being shielded by this. It's a Harbor Freight winch, um, nothing real powerful. It's 5,000 pound, plenty for this right here. Um, I'm pretty sure this wasn't factory. Whoever put that crap right there like that. Um, I think they had an AC that they stuck in that. So, not a bad idea. But um, this jack right here is here because this door here or well, this whole part here was leaning back. I'm guessing part of the floor or something in there was going, but I mean, it's it's solid down here. But the gap down here was like this, but it was like an inch and a half, two inches up here at the top of the door. So I can crank that jack up a little bit more and adjust that and get that gap just right. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld that jack too. The uh, frame right there so that it, it, it ain't gonna go nowhere going down the road and got to replace the wood up here as well um, got the canopy right there uh, it did tear loose in the storm so I will have to replace that canopy if we want a canopy on it um, I'm probably for now gonna use this thing for storage um, it is my radio shack um, I've got a lot of my CB radios and ham radios stored in there And I do want to get some Antenna booms and all that To go on here because I would like to when I go camping and all that do some uh, Some ham radio stuff and all when I'm out and about If we can ever get these restrictions lifted and I can get my ham radio license here it is. I got four ham radios. Can't get my dag on one. Okay, haven't really done much with the hot dog cart. Tinkering with it a little bit. I got some old steam pans. These are beat up all the hell. Um, I'm just using these to kind of figure out what I'm putting where. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all. I replaced the hot water here. It snapped off. It was just dry rotted. That great the price on it was awesome too got it from the uh, people that made this out of uh, New Jersey it is uh, what is it custom carts um, they got me the plug too for the water tank here it's awesome so I've only got a few more things I got to get I got to get the wastewater tank for this and I've got it. You know, it's got a wastewater tank built in, but you have to have a mobile, the one on wheels that you can roll up, drain it into, and dump it. Which I think is ridiculous. I mean, this thing holds like 100 freaking gallons in it. Why do I need a mobile one? Drain it when I get home. There's nothing but water going to be in there. But and I got to have the food grade water hose, the white with the blue stripe. Enjoy bright leaf hot dogs. Okay, um, pretty much it with that. Uh, tinkered with the Cushman Truckster. I took the back fenders and all off. Yeah, a lot of cancer going on. Um, I gotta get the bed off. I kind of hesitate to take the cab off because I'm still using this thing a lot. Um, but it wouldn't crank with me the other day. I checked the points. Points are firing, but um, I think I flooded it. Because I was trying to crank it a lot faster than I normally do. And normally I don't choke it at all. I just let it finally catch up and crank. And I did choke it. And I think I fouled the plugs. Because it was arcing inside the distributor in here. And I've never really noticed it doing that before. So I'm going to change the plugs out. I do need to adjust the valves on it. There's a lot of valve train noise going on. And within the next few weeks I'm gonna rewire this thing because the wiring is a freaking mess on it right now I don't think the 
Well, I had to check, but I don't think the alternator is charging. I don't even think the charging wire is hooked up to where it would be charging the battery back here when I got it in here. But, yeah. But I have watched quite a few videos, and it, these things are just loud. And I'm not talking exhaust loud. I'm talking, like, just valve train and just in here there is a lot of freaking noise going on which it's air cooled and if you ever heard a volkswagen bug running there's a whole lot of noise going on there under the hood well not the hood but whatever you want to call it back there in the back all right i guess that's it for today like i said if anybody knows about that uh airstream sticker Please let me know, because we, we want to go back as original as possible. It is a 1963 Airstream Sovereign. So, if you know anything about them, please let me know. Thank you.